This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Stick around till after the reaction if you want to hear more. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here. Oh yeah, I'm Kat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Sunny and we are going to be watching Blue Eye Samurai. It's a limited series, mini series on Netflix, only eight episodes. And we like, we just finished watching Demon Slayer. Well, of course the series is not done yet, but like with the series, with the episodes that are out. And, and that was, uh, yeah, seemed, feels like we've been watching Demon Slayer for a long while. Uh, but now jumping into a, not a totally different series, like it's still... Like it's still swords, it's still like <laughs> yeah, exactly. East Asian inspired at least. Yes, yes, but this isn't an anime because uh, it wasn't produced in Japan. Um, it's a, it's a Netflix, Netflix production once again. And we thought that, like, after being through, you know, Attack on Titan, that was a, a long ass, amazing journey. And then we went into Demon Slayer. Um, and now we just needed a shorter series and something that wasn't ongoing and that doesn't have, uh, like, a mountain of episodes. Um, so. What you call limited series, yeah. Again, limited series. Yes. Is there anything you want to say before we uh, jump into the first episode? You might have noticed that I have lipstick on my chin. Oh. <laughs> um, at this point, I just don't care. So it's there. It's and there. Now you can't unsee it. Now you can't unsee it. Yeah, exactly. He's going to be focusing on that. All right. Um, if you are new to the channel, then please, please, please consider subscribing. We have a bunch of reactions. Uh, we've I, I mentioned Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. There's, uh, we have... Uh, Star Wars reactions and uh, yeah, check it all out. We also have a Patreon page where you can watch uh, the full length uncut reaction, sync it up to your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions over there. And by the time we release this one on YouTube, I feel pretty sure that like the rest of the episodes are gonna be available on Patreon. So if you wanna watch our reactions to the entirety of Blue Eye Samurai now, you can do so over on Patreon. There's a link down in the description and there's also a pinned comment telling you like just exactly how many episodes we are ahead. But once again, I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to be done by this point. But yeah. With that out of the way, are you ready to jump into it? Yes. Yes. Blue Eye Samurai Episode 1 Hammer Scale. Here we go. As you say, we really don't know much about this series other than people recommended it and the animation is supposed to be quite good mm -hmm. oh. okay. so yeah a blue eyed samurai revenge of course Can I always judge animation by how good the food looks. <laughs> Welcome, sir. I'll bring you some tea. It's not good tea, but it's hot. Then a nice big soba. We make the best soba. Honest. Bad tea. Great soba. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's not a man. Isn't that Got some very um... more noodles. Fast. Stumpy. Get some curve on you, skinny country nothings. Eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Don't like this guy. If that flesh trader kills anyone here, it'll be bad for business. Flesh trader. Be nice to your fucking. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's good, right? Oh. Yep. <sighs> Those hands were very beautiful. Like, effeminate. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> And now it's his fault, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ringo, clean him. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, poor Ringo. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> hmm. Impressive. I've never seen a gun like it. The voice sounds familiar. Why do you know so much about Hachi? Maybe I've been following you. Oh. The famous Hachi with the famous gun. Is she a bounty hunter or something? That's the kind of revenge? Oh, I'm living for that kind of revenge. 
Quick! Whoa! Yikes! Yeah, the. Tr now you can't the, pull the trigger. Yeah, exactly. The trigger fingers. <laughs> Where is Heiji Shindo? I don't know. I swear. <laughs> Blue eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dead-eyed, half-blooded demon bastard! You look like an unreal. Whoa. Okay. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Need a companion? <laughs> okay, yeah, I am already really digging the animation. <laughs> I found you! I knew I'd never catch up on the path, but I remember this shortcut because when we were traveling to the Yuzushi Shrine for my seventh birthday, I went to pee and got lost. So I slept with a family of Tanuki for three days and ate leaves and scarabs and got to know the forest really, really well, so... Here I am. <laughs> Let me be your apprentice. I'll do anything. A breeze can throw a crane off course. You are a typhoon. That was mean. You're not stealthy enough. I'm strong and can carry your things, and you can have the best soba in the world every day. That's a good argument. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> you're deformed, but you're still strong. Deformed? In their culture. Yeah, sure. sure. Aww. Aww. I guess that's a no. I know it's just because it's a samurai and it's taking place in Japan, but it reminds me of Ghost of Tsushima. A little bit, yeah. I think it's not the, exactly the same period of time, but approximately. Mm. Like, I think we talk within a hundred years, perhaps. I don't remember. I don't remember Ghost of Tsushima, like the time period. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Protect Swordfather from time and harm. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, it's just, uh... Going back in time yeah, a little bit here. A, a flashback. Hmm. Oh, these little fuckers are hunting her, aren't they? Your whore mother killed herself because your father is a white devil. <laughs> Weiße Teufel. Wow. And it's blue mm -hmm. on top of that. Maybe that meteor meteor meteorite. Never say that word. It's gonna be used for for sword or something. That's the sword master she was talking about, mm. don't you think? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, and because he can't see the color of her eyes? Yeah, he's not gonna judge her. Yeah. You did not go. <laughs> Nowhere to go. Knows you're there. Come yeah, on. Yeah, he probably has very good hearing. Hmm. Cold morning. It would be nice if someone made tea. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, notch, notch. <laughs> if by any chance someone else is here, it would be very nice if they made me a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's definitely the hands of a sword maker. Mm -hmm. Would be nice if someone got my tongs. <laughs> <laughs> It would be nice if somebody hammered out the impurities. It would be nice if someone kept proper time. <laughs> Back to the present. Wow, that's pretty. This travel pass is invalid. It's my husband's. It's invalid without him. Next! Oh, what? 
Women can't travel without a chaperone. Next. Yeah. Next. Come on. Guessing she can't afford to draw too much attention to herself. You look lost, lost boy. Come on inside, rest a while. Um, I'm looking for the Shindo Dojo. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a penis. <laughs> if you want to show off your sword skills, you can do it here. Not that sword. We can polish the tip up for you. Also, doesn't have a... That, not... Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, hi. It's all paid for. Just relax and okay. enjoy. You like peaches? Peaches. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> well, it's not a kid's show. No. I know. <laughs> ah. Did you talk to him, Seki? Tell me. Uh the floor is purposefully noisy so that no one can sneak up on you. Ah. Uh. I think it's called like anti ninja floors or something like that. Okay. Forgive my interruption. <laughs> <laughs> Tomoe will make a great lord one day. Is that does that make a great lord? <laughs> now I'm told you believe you have an opinion on who you might want to marry. How dare you have an opinion? When a farmer feeds his pig too many sweets, its teeth rot. The infection goes to its brain and it must be slaughtered before it reaches full size. The pig can't be blamed. He's a pig and will eat all it can. Where are we going with this? News came just this morning. Lord Saito's wife died in childbirth and he needs a new bride. Oh, great. If I don't marry you off, you'll end up in a brothel line with him anyway. No. Not. Consider someone who lives near. Someone you trust to protect me and the interests of our clan. My dove, I forget you are a simple girl. You know nothing of the world. Yeah, that's that's why she said that. Tigan, I, I believe. If his skills match his reputation, he'll be offered a handsome salary, perhaps even at the castle here. Well, at at least she knew how to speak to him. Yeah. To sort of <laughs> bend his will a little bit. He said yes? He's sure. You're sure. And they planned this. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen to him? I bring a message for the master of the Shindo Dojo. <laughs> I must deliver it personally. That's a big gate. Uh, yep. You are bound by hospitality to feed a traveler within your gates. I came very far. I'm very hungry. Or has the Shindo Dojo done away with etiquette? Oof. Feed him, then throw him out. Eat. Oh, thank. Porridge? <sighs> so what is that, Mark? I imagine we're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> no need to. Mm. And there can be greatness. Oh, wait. Was that the same mark on the sword? On the sword as, as on her arm? Good enough for cooking. <laughs> Kitchen knives. <laughs> make a thousand kitchen knives. Then you may be ready to make a sword. A smith signs his name. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of kitchen knives. No man can tame this cursed meadow. No man, you say? <laughs> I must become the greatest swordsman alive. <laughs> Is that all? And why must you become such a swordsman? I have kept from you a secret. One everyone else knows as plain as my face, but you do not. I know you're ugly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At the time I was born, there were four white men in all of Japan. One of them... Oh. 
took my mother and made of me a monster. I do not know their names. I do know their fate. Okay. Set out to hunt down the white devils. What have I taught you about steel? Strongest sword is a blend of steel. Are they impurity in the right place? Mm. You may train at nights. <laughs> The perfect training music. <laughs> Weights on her legs, mm. like rugly. Real yeah. <laughs> nice. I cannot leave here until I speak to the master of this dojo. Oh, oh good. We get to kill you. Nope. <laughs> you warned. You face my Shindo Ryu. The problem with Shindo Ryu is it's trash. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. On the heel. <laughs> oh, 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 she is not playing around. Oh. <laughs> she probably made her own school from all the different uh... techniques that yeah, she observed yeah. through time. Whoa, they are losing some teeth. Oh, don't say you're gonna. Oh. Oh, the eye! Oh, shit! <laughs> That's brutal. Put down that toy and draw your sword. But then you'll die. Oh. Damn. Okay, she's very sure of herself, but she's she can back it up. <laughs> That's for sure. Hagen, come quick! We have a problem. I'm afraid no one in this dojo has offered much of a. Okay. Yeah. So that's when the story is until the. Oh, no yeah. way. Is it? Kaigen has won 24 duels. How many have you won? I don't count. Should I have been counting? <laughs> <laughs> Teach him to respect Shindo. I have come to speak with your master and will go on my way once I have. You won't go anywhere except in the funeral cart. Try me, bitch. <laughs> Nice move. Mm. Ow! Okay. And also the glasses? Yeah, and now he's gonna see the eyes. Now he's gonna know who it is. Yeah. You cannot allow that to dishonor us. Or you. Kill him! Round number two. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is like the first boss fight, right? And then <laughs> yeah. suddenly full buff life health again. Then thank you. No one has yet deserved my blade. Oh. Oh wait. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, from that. Uh, sure. It's from the of the me it is. meteorite. Yeah. Of course it is. Like just and it it's sing. and it's her mark. Yes. So she did it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go for the Qui Gon stance. Sorry, this is reminding me a lot of the Obi Wan Maul yeah, yeah, exactly. thing from Rebels.
take off the restraints. Yeah. Yeah. She's rock leaning it. Yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your students need better training. You have a message for me. Where may I find your brother, the black market merchant, Heiji Shindo? Heiji Shindo is in the fortress on Tanabe Island, protected by the Gengin clan. Whatever business you have with him, you will never reach him. Oh, I think she will. Yep. The laser pistol has made its return. Yes. <laughs> But you are still a dog. No, oh, you shouldn't have. Kill, killed him, crippled him, blinded him. Come on, <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> oh, gave the hit the yeah. present from yeah. That must be worth a lot. Yeah. Because it's pure gold. Hmm. Hot spring? Ah, oh, that doesn't look very hot. Oh, oh, no, maybe. Oh, oh. damn. <gasps> the shame. Yes. He defeated my every student. Your students need better training. Well, that's... The samurai. He's not human. Oh, this fucker. Send the four fangs after this samurai. Double their price and be done with it. Four fangs. That doesn't sound good. That dude sounds white. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A reason why they didn't show us. I can never repay your kindness. When I told you my shame, you did not disown me. Even though I'm hideous to men's eyes. I have no eyes, so... <laughs> so... <laughs> I will always be grateful to you, Sword Father. Hmm. Oh, Yosa, yeah, of course, yeah. I have to sew that up. Oh, and this is, I'm sorry, but this is a little bit reminiscent of, uh, like, the ring rates. <laughs> yeah, kinda. If you must do this, take a sword. I already have one, Sword Father. No, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, my. Naked. And boobs. Peaches. <laughs> Peaches. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this season. This season? I thought it was a... I'm pretty sure it's a miniseries. Like, as in a limited series. But I don't know if I want to watch, like, the, like, this is... But like coming up. No, sort of no, thing. me neither. Me neither. Just, uh, no, no, no. And before we continue with the discussion, here's a little something something from the sponsor of this video, Sakurako and... Tokyo Trees. Yes, uh, we've been sponsored by them before. These amazing snack boxes, monthly subscriptions. You get uh, either the Sakurako box or the Tokyo Treat box or both each month. And there's a theme as well. The theme for this month is... If you couldn't tell, <laughs> like, if you didn't know, you could probably tell from the boxes. The boxes, the colors, and especially what's on this one. It's a uh, Sakura season. What do you mean, it's especially on this one? Oh, well, right there. yeah, also, oh, it's just because there's more flowers on, on this one. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the theme for March. And uh, we know that... We are unfortunately a little bit too late uh, with these boxes because the Danish Postal Service and Customs, they shuck. So uh, we always get them way too late. Uh, and uh, these, you, you can't get these anymore, but every month they have a-, a Something new and something exciting. New. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and a new theme every month. And I, I would imagine that March next year, these will be back. Um, so, but regardless, we're gonna show some stuff from them, and we're gonna start, I think, with the Sakura Co box just to show you what it looks like inside. It's always very beautifully designed. A little 
nice message as well. There's a booklet that you can browse through where um, all the different snacks are explained. And especially like with the Sakurako box, they are um, like handcrafted locally made snacks. So you're like, you're really supporting local snack makers in Japan when you buy the Sakurako box. Uh, and yes, it is of course filled to the brim with amazing snacks. And I think we're gonna taste because something that's that's always in the Sakurako box is a tea. And there's a very exciting tea with this one, uh, with like actual sakura flowers in it, where you kind of like, you steep the, sorry about that, you steep the water in, or steep the tea in the flowers. And it's a little bit difficult to show um, what's like in it, I, I, I can't. There are some, like certain types <laughs> of tea where you have like a, like the tea is a uh, flower <laughs> yeah. that when it blossoms, it's very cute. So when you put down the flower that's kind of closed and when it opens blossoms up and opens, yep. that means the tea is ready. Yes. It's the same case for this tea. Yep. Um, so like a sweet sakura tea. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to taste it. Very warm, <laughs> but delicious. I've never tasted anything like that. Holy moly. And yes, as you can it's probably, not too sweet. Oh, sorry. As you can probably tell, I try to match both the mark and my mark with uh, <laughs> the theme. theme. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Interesting. Delicious. Something that's also um, always in the Sakura Co boxes is a little household item, and for this one, it is. It's a beautiful little plate again with the Sakura. Blossoms. Yeah, flowers. perfect for your snacks. Yep. Um, and some uh, little kitties on it as well. Cats. Neko, I think. Gotcha. But before we move on to the Tokyo Treat Box, let's taste at least one snack from the Sakura Co Box. And there's a Sakura Mochi. We'll just we'll just share this one. And as you can probably guess, mm. I chose this based based off of the color of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, oh yeah, that's one of the tastiest mochis I've ever mm. tasted. <laughs> does it sound weird that it tastes like it looks? No, it it it, it does. I don't know how to explain it, it tastes, really, but it, it just you look pink. at it. Yep, you look at it and like yep, it that's it tastes just as advertised. But let's move on to Tokyo Treat. Yes, so Tokyo Treat, whereas the Sakurako box is more like uh, authentic, handcrafted, all this. Uh, the Tucky Treat is more like what's trendy and some exclusive items, snacks. Items, yeah. snacks uh, <clears throat> usually always comes with some sort of like ramen or udon or like noodle mm. type yes. uh, snack. And, and also a little beverage, like a drink. And um, Kit Kats. And Kit Kats. Like, <laughs> uh, Japan is known for their very different kinds of Kit Kats. Yes, a lot of different flavors. But yeah, um, let's just... It looks like this. It's very beautiful and pink and ooh, mm -hmm. like the yeah. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I just love the the mix between pink and yeah, the yeah. Voice. The, I think it's the uh, sign is all always on point. Yes, and as you can see, the Kit Kats for this one is matcha latte. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can see there's a lot of different snacks. Filled to the brim once again. Pink, 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 pink yep. all over. This also comes with a booklet where you can read all about your snacks. And also if you have any dietary restrictions, uh, this, yeah, all the information is in the booklet. Yes. Pick some. Yes, let's try some snacks. Cakes, you decide Cakes. which one. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go for this one first. Gonna make a mess here. But then it's a good thing that we have this one. <laughs> and this is a Sakura shortbread cookie. Mm -hmm. Um, so, well, obviously it's a shortbread cookie with a bit of sakura cream filling. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Look how pretty. So pretty. Very reminiscent of a sakura blossom, I would say. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, it's kind of like with, with the with the mochi, you look at it and you're like, what is it going to taste like? Exactly what it looks like, mm. which, is, which is not a bad thing mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And the other one we have is a sakura castella cake. Mm-hmm. Fluffy cloud like cake, it says. Yep. I've actually been wanting to try a Castella cake for a while. I have no idea what while. it is. We but, last uh, saw saw them in uh, Demon Slayer. We were served to, um, to Tanjiro when he was uh, like bedridden at the beginning of the, 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 
the last season. Yeah. Okay, here we mm. go. Looks moist and fluffy and airy. And mm, I think this would go very well with the tea or mm. maybe a cup of coffee or something. For me, at least. <laughs> yeah, well, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let me try. Yes. Those two almost go hand in hand. All right, it is very, very tempting to just keep going and taste even more of these amazing, amazing snacks. Uh, but we're going to stop here and just going to let you know about this a code, our code, uh, a, a code where you can get $5 off of your purchase of your first box, be it a Sakura code box or a Tokyo Treat a box subscription. And that code is... Cat Sunny. So once again, use the code Cat Sunny to get five dollars off a five dollar discount of your first purchase, be it Sakuraco or Tokyo Treat. Thank you to Sakuraco and Tokyo Treat for sponsoring this video. And now we'll get back to the discussion. Yeah, we're just gonna end it there. Don't don't need the the, the preview thing, but. That, that was a, a really, really solid first episode getting in, introduced to the main character. We still don't know, don't I have a name. I think the the caption said uh, Misu. Oh, I, I thought it just said Samurai. Uh, it said uh, Lone Warrior Mitsu something. Oh, okay. So I think her name is Mitsu. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but getting introduced to her... And learning a little bit about our past, her quests now, a quest for revenge, of course, and living in a time where, well, yeah, women weren't definitely, definitely weren't treated as equals to the men. And also the whole thing with uh, race and mixing and and uh, quite apparent here that uh, if if one of your parents was white for example then you're a, a monster and an abomination in the eyes of yeah, less than human you are less than human so so she's got that going for her as well but one hell of a fighter and and i i really like the pacing the way that they are telling the story here a little bit at a time, but mostly also like letting us stay in the moments. Um, and yes, there's a bunch of things that that a bunch like a lot of information that we don't have, but I don't feel like we need it right now. Like they're gonna mm. dole it out when it's appropriate to the story, when it fits in thematically, um, and it's yeah gonna be the most impactful. I'm I'm sure throughout this uh, eight episode run, but it seems but, like when when I just because they said this season on yeah and it's just a little bit confusing to me um, because it's that seems sounds like it's there's gonna be more seasons, and if you think about like there are what four white men. Yeah, they could easily do four seasons then, or something. Yeah, or something uh, like that. Whereas, like at least it's it sounds like that could there's definitely enough. Story. Uh, story there to continue over several seasons because at this point I know it's just like one episode in mm. so a lot can happen yeah um but then we learned that the first one uh no no not even the first one but uh the Heiji was that his name yes the yeah, brother the, the brother the, yeah he is uh in in an island on an island on yeah. an island with some like this Tenken clan. No, I, was it Tenken? Tenken. Uh, Genken. Genken. Uh, clan. Genken protected clan. by a clan. At yeah, least. A, a clan. It sounds like uh, it, it sounds like it's a uh, it's a challenge at least, um, and like that's even like that's one thing. But then we learn that they talk together. Of course, all these people, um, all these like the baddies. And yes. then they send after her the four, four fangs. Yes. Uh, and that's just like, that's one guy. Like, that's one of the four uh, men that she has to, uh, vowed That she's looking to, for. Yeah, one of the, the white to devils, so to say. It's, it seems like they didn't show us the person, but... It's pretty clear, because like, like, I think most of these... <coughs> Most of these characters have uh, a little bit of an, uh, 
supposedly Japanese accent, except for this guy who had more like a not British, I would say, but more American, but not like it's just like a some sounded a standardized like, yeah. uh, kind of like English accent that's like, mm, but at least not with a, like in Japanese kind of accent. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That that it makes sense. Makes sense. I, I just uh, found the, the the cast list here yes. so that we could see. Um, and you're right. The name of the main character is Misu, and voiced by Maya Erskine. I'm not quite sure where I've seen her before or heard her before. Obi Wan. Oh, she's... she was in Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay. The three episodes. Yeah, and then. Bojack Horseman. She what one like, episode? One episode. Bo- Bo- yeah. Bojack. Yeah, definitely done some some voice acting and uh, and whatnot. George Takei. I've yeah I know that guy. That's a well known character actor. He plays Seki. We have uh, Ringo as well. There, not that. Kenneth Branagh. Who did he play? Abijah Fowler. I think it might be. That, might, that might be him. Then. Oh, Kenneth Rana. That's the a yeah, that's white a, dude in the shadows. It, he's the only white dude on the cast list so far, so hey. <laughs> Ming Na Wen! Yeah, Isn't I'm not it? sure we're going to have seen her yet. No, she's in four episodes. Madame Kaji. Milan herself. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, there's not a lot of no. uh, names that is I it, is recognize the- necessarily, but some of the voices sounded. Like sounds sounds like I've heard them before. Yeah, but um, it's not. Or or maybe I'm just bad with names. Maybe there are, like I just didn't recognize the names there. Either way, either way, um, stellar voice acting so far. Sure. Um, and the animation, I've, I'm really digging that as well. And it's it's definitely more of a mature series. It, it not I I didn't know it was gonna be. Not that I have an issue with necessarily with like violence and nudity. I just didn't know it was going to be so in your face. Yeah, yeah, it's very. Uh, uh, so, so that's why we were taken aback a yeah, little bit. It's same, not because we're same. like, oh no. I but again, we didn't it. know anything about this no, no. series before. <laughs> so, like, so that's also what I meant when I said that's this is not what I signed up for. Because yeah, well, uh, if you stuck around for quite some time, you might know that I am very bad with uh, certain like types of gore and then um also like straight up like sexual acts on like, right there it's just like again it's like it makes me very uncomfortable and borderline sick uh yeah. and it's so, not because you're like no no it's not like i don't want or vi- like, violence or nudity no, or like no, that you're prude or anything like that it's just it's an involuntary it's an reaction. involuntary reaction yes. and definitely bound up on something um there's something there yeah, it's just like again, <laughs> especially with the uh, gore. It's it's just like it's, it's yeah. very involuntary. Not that I... it was that gory, but no, no, it was no, just no. It's... Um, very visceral. Like some some of the stuff here, like with the bone sticking out and the thing with the tooth and the eye. That was I'm I'm not good when it comes to like anything near the eyes that goes inside of eyes. Like that that's that's when I'm looking away. Yeah. So. <laughs> so like that scene from Kill Bill where she takes out the eye, that was uh the worst to kill for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, and it's just like it's seemed worse, but yeah. And also because I feel like it's like the colors is slightly subdued. So the red really contrasts like it really pops it out. Re- it you. really pops. Especially in this scene where every uh where there was a lot of uh muted colors. Muted colors. It was a lot a lot like either it was dark or it was like mm. uh very uh white. Like, you know, because uh, it bright. was they were bright, yeah, out in the in the snow, so everything was like in not a lot of colours. So again, like blood kind of pops. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So again, not uh yeah, it's just it was just so much like it was in your face in a mm. way that, but it was like not in a not in a showy kind of way. If that makes sense, like uh, I, I you know, it, you know, like it. Invincible is like oh yeah, it's, it's like, that that that's very same, much in your face and very it, much. Hey, look at how bloody this shit can get. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like it's yeah, like it's a competition to see how gross can we make this. Yeah, how Whereas, over the top can it? Th- get? This was just like subdued in your face, kind of like it was just like. 
hey, I'm right there. Like, yeah, yeah. That that's it's what like, it would. Like, whoa, it's a penis, or like, whoa, it's a. Yeah, there's yeah. There's blood everywhere, and you know. Yeah, it's it's, but it feels very realistic. Yeah, sure, in, sure. In, in, in that's the... like that's almost how that it, it that's how it gets you. It... Is what I, is what I mean, right? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's sure. not as. Yeah. I I get what you mean. <laughs> I, I I totally get what you mean, and. Uh, I wanted to say something specific here. Oh yeah, just like the tone of the series is also feels very real and feels very grounded, and the, the, there's room for both, of course, tragedy, but also some levity here and there, some funny moments between peaches. <laughs> yes, <laughs> peaches, <laughs> and also between uh, Salt Father and um, our protagonists, who. Didn't at any point, and I know it, it might just be because she's protecting herself, but she didn't at any point correct anyone and say, hey, I'm not a man. No. Not even Salt Father. But it's especially when you think about it, in this, and you, you said in like in this... Time period. Time period, in this yeah. day and age, that uh, not women are not like... Yeah, yeah. And and I think uh, we have that, had that very short scene with... Uh, the princess i can't remember her name but like where she looks at a picture mm. like that's very clearly from the what 1600s japan like it's uh, yeah and she looks and then she tries to look like her mm. and then she gets frustrated because she can't look like her mm. so like there, there's something about like the the so, some of the you know and that's something i'm huge sucker for because uh, you guessed it i'm a huge feminist so uh <laughs> like um yeah beauty standards and like trying to fit into a role of being feminine in a way that like yeah being being put in a box with a lot of people like that happened a lot back in the day that you just you are born as this so you are you belong in this box this is what you are you can't go outside of that and we also got it from her the prince's father mm. uh the lord whatever where he was just straight up comparing her to a pig eating too many sweets. Yeah, uh, like and... it's a farm animal. I have to take care of you. I have to feed you properly, and I have to sell you off someday uh, so that I can make some more money. Like that's that's all. And the way like is. they are raised, because we see her uh, baby brother. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Yes. <laughs> yes, he could just trash the whole place, and no one bats an eye. Yeah. And she looks like she has one hair out of place, and People like she definitely... has to speak to him in a certain way, and with mm. a like so much respect. Uh, yeah, and straight really, up sucking up to him. <laughs> yeah, and like so, so that's also reflecting on this kind of like society where we are right now, and mm, yeah, in, yeah, in the yeah. story that. Like the, the there's standards for how you should be as a woman, mm. and and that's also why our protagonist, not not correcting these people because well, then she would most likely be told that you can't be a samurai or she, she just straight up like for her as you say it's like a self preservation thing it's it's simply yeah. because like maybe she doesn't even see herself as a woman necessarily anymore I think perhaps she might just straight up just see herself as a monster and that's like that's just like the extent of it maybe uh, we don't yeah. know much again it's just been one episode it's so one episode there's a lot more about like person like psyche wise that, that we to can dive, dive into in. yes um but so far I, I love stuff like this um also you mentioned mulan and because Ming yeah. Wen is going it's, to it's got character. some of that and some, like some a great it's a great underdog story uh, yeah, it's just like uh, with Mulan because I've watched it so much as a kid, like so much, like, <laughs> multiple times a day, kind of. Yeah. Uh, like so much that the tape you, you wore tape out was, the tape. Exactly, yeah. Um, Good old VHS. Yeah, and I like I'm, I still have memorized all the lines. It's just like on the back of my spine, like it's just it's yes. right there. Back but in spine, Danish though. In Danish though, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but sorry, just to go get back to it. Yeah, I love Mulan a lot, but I think there's also a lot of that. Uh, story that speaks to me like this woman had to like the only way she could succeed as a woman was as a man you know like like there's a lot of that and i'm not going to get get into also the, the whole queer side of it not i'm not gonna go into that because other people have but it's, that just it just speaks to me uh a lot especially with this like she's obviously uh this protagonist she's obviously very good at what she's doing and she set out to be the best yeah, and it just it's it's great like 
for many reasons. <laughs> and, yeah, just, and it speaks to me. Definitely. And just only because we just watched it, but her you know, quest to become the best swordsman in the world just reminded me a little bit of Sorrow uh, from um, yeah, One Piece. Mm. Just said it. But hey, first episode down. Really, really intrigued by this. Uh, and again, don't know if there's going to be more. Got a little bit confused there because it says this season. Um, but for now, I think it's it's just a mini series, limited series, and depends on how it ends. Do you have anything else you want to add to? Uh, no, I don't we... think so, no. no. All right. Um, then, if you're new to the channel, uh, then we have a thing here at the end that we call Danish word of the day, where we take. A word, uh, it can either be like the, the title of the episode that we're watching or something that has to do with the episode, but take a word and then we translate it from English to Danish. And we're just going to do a simple one here to begin with. It's called the word, it's called Blue Eye Samurai. So, blue. Blue in Danish is? Blo. Blo. Again, if you're new here, that, there might be a letter there that you haven't seen before. The A with the O above it. It makes an O sound, it's an O, so B-L-O, blow. That's blue in Danish. Yep. And I'll do it for this reaction review of Blue Eye Samurai episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you as soon as possible. Bye. Bye.